Hi, I'm Sreya Shi. I'm a recent graduate from University College London, specialising in infection and immunology, which involves the study of tiny organisms that are invisible to the naked eye. On a global scale, however, these tiny organisms may not have such an invisible effect when it comes to our day-to-day -day lives. In this video, I want to draw your attention to one such microbe, a bacterium that is known for causing millions of deaths worldwide, particularly in developing countries. This ancient disease has evolved throughout history, acquiring a variety of labels, the romantic disease, white plague, thysis. But in present day, it goes by the name tuberculosis, or as we more commonly know simply, TB. Joy Hawk is an interdisciplinary, youth-centric initiative which aims to build on the social knowledge and awareness of tuberculosis through traditional Bengali art styles like pottery throw and puppetry. To get myself acquainted with the different art forms, I went to go and visit some Bengali traditional painters. Their special art is called Potochitro. This is done on handmade paper with the help of organic colors extracted from plants, and only a handful of people are skilled enough to carry out these over generations. <laughs> I think this kind of approach is new and unique and would really engage school children and encourage them to take an active interest in the science behind tuberculosis as well as recognize this disease as a community health problem. Shanti TB Control Society is a renowned non-governmental organization located in southwest Kolkata that's collaborating with us on the TB awareness project. The Shanti TB is fighting uh, against TB uh, since 1981, we have uh, uh, contacts with different community groups, with the schools, the panchayats, and with the self-help groups, and also with influential people in the community. So what we can do is, we can uh, sort of uh, mobilize these people to help in this study. It's important to realize that eliminating tuberculosis is not only a scientific challenge but also a social one. This awareness campaign might not be as groundbreaking as say, a new drug in the market but would definitely help us to explore different strategies by which we could successfully engage the public and hence improve their perception of the disease.